video is going to go over how to use our heat map functionality in our color coding section. Uh, so in the color coding section, our heat map, uh, which is, you can think of it as a heat cloud, uh, it's this button right up at the top here. Uh, initially, I have a data set of breweries across the US and Canada that I brought in and I just have some um, just symbolization of purple dots. But let's say I wanna throw this in a PowerPoint presentation, I can click on the heat map. And if you have multiple data sets, you just tell the program which data set you'd like to use for a heat map. So I'm going to choose my breweries, click next. And then the first option you'll see within the setup color coding is you can choose your different types of uh, color that you want for this. You can also make the heat radius uh, a little bit more uh, dramatic if you'd like. And also you can choose which data column you'd like to have uh, the numeric value for. So in this case, if I left it at none, it's gonna go by essentially the number of points that I have on the map. If I wanna go by my sales column of my imported spreadsheet, I'm gonna choose sales and I can click preview if I want. And that'll give me an idea of what that looks like. And if everything looks great, um, then I can click done and have that on the map. I could also play around with my radius uh, if I wanted to see what the different options are. And once I'm all set, I click done. A couple things to know about uh, heat maps. When you're zoomed out to a national view like this, you're gonna see the heat and it's gonna look great. It's gonna be, uh, show you where everything is more intense. And then if we start to zoom in a little bit with our zoom tools in the top right corner, just draw a box around the area, we're gonna start to see that heat dissipate. So just keep that in mind as you're using it. When you zoom in more and more, the heat dissipates. When you zoom out, it comes all together. If you need to take an image of that, uh, we have our options up here at the top. So you can export your image as a JPEG or a PNG file. We also have our print map option, which would allow you to print the current map view, or you could save it as a PDF if you wanted to throw it in your, in your. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks and have a great day.